Hi and welcome back everyone to Making Music. I'm your host uh, Sam T and I hope that uh, you have enjoyed yourself and uh, in your learning through the beginner's course. Uh, we are on lesson 4 uh, so far and um, we have a treat for you today. And uh, today we're going to have teach you two more new chords, two more new strummings and two more new songs. Yeah! So if you are ready and uh, you're up for it, just get your guitar out of where you place it and we'll get straight into working. Now, the two chords that we're gonna learn today in lesson 4 is the A minor and the C chord. Let's try the A minor chord. As you can see the uh, chart is coming up and um, you use three fingers again. It's always three fingers, quite easy. And um, you will use your first finger and you can tell from the chord chart you should be able to read uh, it a bit better in this lesson now since you've been exposed to that. Your first finger, you use that to place on the second string of the first fret. One, two, first finger, place it here. Then you will use your second finger, reading the chart itself again, and then place it on the fourth string. One, two, three, four, second fret. Like here. And then the third finger, just next to it, which is the third string on the second fret, like so. Simple and easy. And always remember where is the root chord and where should you start strumming it. That's right, fifth string. One, two, three, four, five. Strum from the fifth string downwards. And that would be your A minor. It's quite dark kind of sound. Okay, A minor. Now for the C chord. Let's look at the chart itself. Uh, yep, and <laughs> and uh, you will use three fingers also. And you notice that the first finger, the placement of it is almost the same, and actually is the same as the A minor, which is second string, first fret, one two. Like this, then middle finger or your second finger will be the same placement as where we learned before in A minor, which is fourth string, second fret. Then the only difference is third finger, you place it on the fifth string here on third fret, like this. Yep, that's a bit of stretch to some of you who is new to this chord. But don't worry, your hand is beginning to learn to place and memorize where to place itself. So if you find that you struggle, okay, take your time. Okay, let it adjust itself. If your hands is a bit tired, relax a bit. Okay, then come back to it. Okay, don't relax too long, like half an hour. <laughs> but come back to it. Make sure that you get get it memorized here, and make sure your thumb placement and your finger placement is proper. You can remember. Uh, you can review again from our previous lessons, uh, lesson two or three, I think so. That will talk about uh, how to press uh, chords and in general and some tips on how to make sure you press it properly so that it will sound. So here we go. See and notice that uh, which string should we strum first? Okay, the root chord which is C starts from the fifth string here. Therefore we start strumming from there. And that's your C. Easy as that. C 